If you follow these two quick tips, you'll learn how to airdrop both files and photos between your Mac and iPhone. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more Pro Mac tips. Airdrop has to be one of the best features of owning any Apple product, especially if you own a Mac and an iPhone. And airdrop is basically a feature that allows you to transfer files and photos in between your iPhone and Mac without having to plug in a wire to any of your devices. So let me show you how to turn on the airdrop on your iPhone first. Go to your settings, scroll towards the middle and hit general and near the top you're going to hit airdrop and you can either set it to contacts only or to everyone for 10 minutes i always leave it to contacts only because i don't want any random stranger being able to send me files when i don't know them and here's how to activate airdrop on your mac you're going to want to go to finder in the top left corner hit airdrop and then in this drop down menu right here you're going to want to hit either contacts only or everyone again i only leave it on contacts only to protect myself from strangers now let's airdrop some photos to my mac i'm going to hit the photos app right here in the in the top top right corner you can hit select and now you can highlight any photo that you want to send after you selected the photos that you want to airdrop to your mac you're going to want to hit this bottom left button hit airdrop and now you can send it to any iphone or any mac within the range of your device if i hit chris's macbook pro so you can actually send as many photos videos and files as you want in between your iphone and your mac but the larger the amount of files the longer it will take so once you get the so once you get the notification that it got sent to find where it goes, what you're going to do is go to Finder, scroll down on the sidebar and hit Downloads, and that's where all the files went. So quick question for you, what do you usually use AirDrop for? We would love to know and so do the other viewers, so you can comment down below your answer. A common thing that happens when you're starting to AirDrop a lot of things from your iPhone to your Mac is that you start accumulating a lot of files, some big, some small, but then they just add up over time. So let me show you how to quickly remove unneeded files through a program called Clean My Mac X. With this program i'm going to go to the large and old files module and run a quick scan what i love about this is that everything is categorized from pictures movies and music and even to the last time that i access each of these files so now i can select whatever i want to delete and hit remove and just like that clean my mac x made it so easy to see and remove any unneeded files on my mac i highly recommend this program and if you want to start there's a download link in the description box below that'll lead you to the right place so now i'm going to show you how to airdrop from your mac to your phone and the same deal applies you could send any photos videos or files but you can send applications because mac os and ios are two completely different things so if you have a couple pictures you want to send you could highlight any one of them right click it go to share airdrop and then i see my iphone right here so i'm going to click that and now it got sent to my phone but one thing that you should know is that your phone needs to be on for this so it can't be asleep and the screen can't be off but what if you want to send documents to your phone? Well, it's exactly the same process. Click on the file that you want to send, right click it, hit share, hit airdrop. I'm going to click my iPhone and my iPhone automatically opens up that file. But if you want to go find it yourself, you can drag down the screen, type in files, open that up. And there you can find any file that you airdrop to your phone. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe and hit that bell notification to be notified of more Pro Mac tips.